Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this short video, let's speak about water pumps and uh, concretely why water pumps fail and what are the symptoms of that failure. Here is a nice example of the water pump. This one was recently replaced because failed. Now, water pump design is main housing, right? Impeller, which is moving the coolant. Here is the pulley, which is outside. And somewhere inside is the seal and the bearing. Also, around here somewhere you will find the weep hole, which supposed to show the first signs of failure of the seal. This one it's already plucked by the leaking, very slow leak of the coolant. And there are three major failures of the water pump, right? The first one symptom will be you have leaking coolant and that means the seal which is around this shaft, right? which goes in and out. The seal which is around is failing and it started leaking either very slowly seeping through the weep hole like you see here or it really leaks a lot. Another very common failure is that the bearing which is inside gives up and basically the belt is pushing on this pulley, right? The bearing inside fails and this impeller starts scraping the body of the water pump and it makes that horrible grinding scraping sound. I have a great story about this failure. Once the customer came to me with his van and he said, oh my engine it's kaput, it's making that horrible scraping sound, it's probably will cease any moment. That's what my friends told me, but before I will give it to the junkyard, can you please look at the van? And of course, as you are guessing, the water pump bearing failed. Anytime he started up the engine, this was scraping the body, right, of the pump. Horrible sound, loud, really noisy, and he thought the whole engine is completely gone. The last failure you cannot really hear or see because that's when, and it's not very common, uh, that's when this impeller separates itself from the shaft. The whole thing is turning outside here, right? But the impeller is barely turning or it's not turning at all. And you cannot hear anything it's hard to see if your coolant is circulating from the engine, but the symptom is that your engine is overheating. And this one, as I said, is not very common, but I saw it in past too. He had some sienna with my friend Martin, and he couldn't figure out why, why it's overheating. And after checking everything, I diagnosed it that the water pump failure, despite the fact everything was running good, and sure enough, when he took it completely apart, which he was trying to avoid, obviously, but when he took it completely apart, that was the case. The impeller wasn't moving at all, and therefore the coolant in the whole system wasn't uh, moving around. So I hope you enjoyed this very short and hopefully very informative video. By the way, I have no idea why we still call those water pumps because we cannot keep water inside of the engine as a coolant, right? It will rust from inside completely. I will say coolant pump or cooling pump maybe, but anytime I hear water pump, well, when is the last time we had only water in the engine, right? As a, as a coolant. That's a long time ago. Well, my friend, thanks for watching, stay tuned, be subscribed, I have way more videos about Toyota Tech and Toyota Cars and Trucks coming your way soon. Actually, on Tuesday, I'll be working on Corolla, so definitely, it's coming your way. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.